Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi and this is Style by Glam. For today's video, I'm doing 10 essential pieces to have for every wardrobe. These are my go-to pieces. They're classic silhouettes. I feel like when you have these 10 pieces in your wardrobe, you can always quickly whip up an outfit uh, for any occasion. All these pieces are super versatile. They're great for, let's say, if you have to travel somewhere and you just need to you know, throw something together really quick. You don't have to think too much. As long as you have these pieces, you have a variety of options when you arrive at your destination. It's also a great, um, I want to say capsule closet, capsule closet, I can't pronounce the word, um, that, you know, if you have limited space and you can have an extensive wardrobe and you have to minimize the things you own, I definitely think these 10 pieces will keep your wardrobe versatile and give you the options you need for any occasion. Before moving on with this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the alert button for my future videos. And if you haven't already, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok, which I post a lot more often on a daily basis, on the stories, and also, you know, little posts here and there on TikTok where I share other fashion-related um, tips and uh everyday outfit ideas and all right so let's get started with today's video the first item is every closet must have a go-to pair of boo jeans mine is my straight leg jeans from Topshop they fit me to a T as you can see I'm also wearing one here they can never go wrong I think as long as you have a good pair of blue denim you're covered uh, be it casual and you can dress it up with heels if it's a more a little slightly more dressier uh, or business casual look that you want to put together that's why it's so important to find a pair that fits you right and if you find that magical pair I have like for example for me and this pair I have like two three pairs in the same color just because I wear them so much and if they go out of shape I know I have another pair to fall back on Item number two, a pair of tailored pants. So this is for anything that you have, you might have a dressier, dressier occasion and the jeans is not gonna work for you. I have a pair of tailored pants. Mine is a little bit on the high waist end and I like that fit, but if you don't like the high waist fit, you can go for it, you know, find something a little bit more um, on the natural waist or like a lower waist. I had this pair for I think I bought it like six years ago and I still wear them till today. They are like my go-to. They go with ev almost everything. Like if I were to switch out the the jeans with this, with the cami, I got another outfit. Now the third item I'm also kind of wearing already and um, I'm holding another one is a standard cami. I think camis are great for layering. Summertime you can wear it as is super comfortable and easy if it's like fall or winter it's great for layering you can wear it under um, a jacket it can be easily dressed up or dressed down however you need accessorize it if you don't own any camis which i doubt most people def have some camis in their closet but if you don't i would suggest the first colors to go for are either black and white because it's just versatile. As you can see, a lot of the items are within the basic colors of black and white, blue and gray. So that way everything kind of matches back up and you can create multiple outfits. Moving on to the fourth item, I think every closet must have a go-to slip dress style. Easy to throw on once again, uh, you can dress it up, dress it down, wear it with a denim jacket for a casual look. Fall time, add a biker leather jacket for a little more edgy vibe. It'll go great under a blazer for a business casual um, outfit. Uh, and then you add a belt for a nighttime with some heels, you can go to dinner. So I think there's such um, versatility with a cami dress, especially if it, you know, if you keep it basic. I, I mean, there's a printed one here as an example, but obviously the little, like little black dress option, that's a must for every closet. Number five, 
a button-down white shirt. It's really trending right now, but I've always had one in my closet. Over the course of time, I've changed the fit a little bit. I, I bought, you know, updated fits. This year, the oversized look is trending, but if you're not an oversized uh, fit fan, go for a classic fit. I think a white button down, you, you can wear with jeans again, for you can just wear with the straight leg jeans for a casual outfit, or you can dress it up with the tailored pants for a business look that if, if for a meeting or something, um, you know, a little bit more formal. And if you really want to dress it up, you can pair it with a blazer and kind of go for an all business vibe. Now, as we head into what fall and winter, depending on where you are, this is definitely another must have a classic piece for every closet, the cardigan. Depending on what you like, some people like a more fitted fit. I, this one, for example, I kind of wear it even as a top. Or you can go for the cozy, like warm vibe with an oversized fit like this one. It's a little bit more, you know, heavier knit. I love sweaters, but I feel like sometimes the pullover sweaters does get a little bit hot while you're indoors. The cardigan, I, I feel like it plays a little bit better for, for everyday needs. If you're in the office and they put on the heater, you can at least take it off and not feel like, you know, oh, I look messy because a lot of times whatever you wear on, inside the sweater is just, you know, it gets wrinkled or whatnot, but the cardigan, you do a layered look, you can take the cardigan off when it's too hot and layer back on when it's too, uh, when it gets cold again. And that's the sixth item for you. Now moving on the seventh item, uh, we're kind of now graduated into, you know, from the cardigan as you can see into the outerwear section, the, a black blazer. I don't think anybody should go without a black blazer in their closet. This will come in handy in multiple occasions. I love to wear it just with, you know, casual with jeans and that blazer look. Or for work, if you need to go in for a meeting, and sometimes if you need it for an interview or something, I think going with a black blazer is definitely more a safe bet. You don't have to worry too much about you know, overdressing or underdressing. For example, a lot of times here in LA, most people don't dress super, you know, formal, but when I go in for an interview or something, I still want to look put together, and I think throwing on an easy black blazer always does the trick. Or if you really, again, if you really, really want to dress it up, over the white shirt for a little formal combo. What's the next stuff? Leather biker jacket. This is a classic sil silhouette that just comes back into style every winter season, every fall season. This fit switches up a little bit. Some years the oversized is more trending, some years the more cropped look is trending. This one I have is on a classic fit and it's not too oversized but not and or too short so it, it lasts me for a really long time this one I wear it every year yeah I, I feel like it can just easily go over anything especially on a windy day if you if it's not like super cold yet throw on a biker jacket you look stylish you're good to go next up I think every closet should have a camel colored trench style coat this baby I wear it every year. It goes with almost every outfit. And because of the color, it kind of adds a little bit more. It's a little bit more on the dressier end. It can easily be worn with a dressier outfit, but if you want to keep it casual, wear it with your jeans as well. This is like the most worn jacket in my closet for sure. And it never goes out of style. Once again, a classic silhouette. Um, it has a tie, it has a waist tie. You wear it open for the most part, but on colder days, it's great to like just wrap around and keep yourself warm. This is more like the classic silhouette, and I think every closet should have this. Finally, last but not least, accessory-wise, I think everybody should have a go-to black bag. It doesn't need to be the in-season it bag. 
a lot of times, and I was guilty of it too, I always chase after whatever the trending bag is and usually after the season I'm like oh my god I don't want to use it anymore because it's so it was you can you can definitely feel that it's you know it's the trend has passed I feel like a neutral black color bag that you can throw on is a must my fave right now or it's been actually since ever since I bought it which was what three years ago when I got this bag is this a Saint Laurent bag I didn't get the big size I got like the the kind of the mini size they're called it's not that small um but what I love about this it's it's a classic shape it's not too busy it doesn't really just scream like oh you know 2010 or whatnot it's just it's a classic silhouette that you can just slim, simply put on and go I do think it's bags are an invest investment and if you are going to invest in a bag buy one that you know you can use season after season thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video leave me a comment or if you have any suggestions of other pieces that i might have missed in my essential closet i love to hear your suggestion as well until next time i'll see you have a good week Thank you.